What do you get when you react barium chloride with sulfuric acid? Well, to figure that out, I'm going to show you the ions that each of these ionic compounds are made out of. Barium is a metal that likes having a plus two charge. Chlorine is a non-metal that li likes having a minus one charge. Sulfuric acid is hydrogen bonded to the sulfate ion. That means you have H pluses and you have SO4 minus twos. Now, this is technically a molecular compound, but I want you to treat it as though it's ionic because this is a double displacement reaction. Now, the official reactants here are whatever you get when you crisscross these two charges with each other. Ba with Cl gives you BaCl2. H with SO4 gives you H2SO4. You probably knew that. Those are the formulas for those two compounds. Sulfuric acid dissolves in water, and actually barium chloride does as well. Now, what do you get when you react these two together? Well, you're supposed to, in a double displacement reaction, swap the partners that are positive and negative with each other. Ba plus 2 will bond to the other minus ion, or will, at least will attempt to bond with it. And likewise, the H plus will attempt to bond with the Cl minus. See how they are swapping partners here? Ba with SO4, positive 2 with minus 2, those charges cancel each other out. You end up with BaSO4 or barium sulfate, putting H with Cl. The plus one and minus one cancel each other out as well. You get hydrochloric acid. Now, hydrochloric acid dissolves in water. Almost all non-metal acids do. Barium sulfate, on the other hand, those two ions cannot coexist in aqueous solution. Check any set of solubility rules or solubility tables. You will find that lots of sulfates are soluble, but barium is not one of them. And so that gives you a solid. If you mix these two clear colorless solutions, you'll end up with the clear colorless solution, but a solid will fall out of it as well. I, I don't, I forget what color this is. I think it's just white. So you'll end up with this little tiny white powder that looks like it's suspended in the water. But then if you leave it for an hour or so, that solid will fall to the bottom and you will clearly have made a new substance. It's solid barium sulfate, which does not dissolve in water. That's why it's a solid. That's why it's a precipitate. And that's why there is a reaction between barium chloride and sulfuric acid. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.